Oh, it feels so good to be back in the yard again after three weeks of dealing with the sickness. So not 100%, but I'm definitely getting there. I got a fresh mow in yesterday evening. And the question I got a lot over the course of the sickness was, have you got army worms in your yard? And the answer is a big yes and also a small no. And my front yard did survive and it's looking really good. In fact, we're about to put down a second treatment for army worms and also other insects in and around the house here. So, but let me show you the small area I did get hit with army worms. Let's head to the back. Here we go. I was laying in bed and my son comes in from mowing the lawn for me. They really took control of the lawn while I was down. Uh, I'll leave a link up here to it if you missed that video. He said the backyard has an area that's really looking brown. And I'll see if I can find a picture and throw a little picture up here. But yeah, army worms had gotten in this area right here, all the way to the pool fence. They made it out probably, I'd say right about here, six feet. So what I did was, well, I'll show you what, I'm, what I did then it was probably a week after but i was feeling pretty decent that day so i got out here and actually sprayed it and then went back and laid down and fell asleep <laughs> but that's regardless it also got me on the other side of the fence over there on that slope there was army worms there so i hit that as well because what i'm about to show you one bottle will cover 5,000 square feet this is roughly you know 3,000. so i had enough to finish that whole side over there so let's head to the garage and i'll show you what i did to Remedy this problem, as you can see, it's already turning green after a couple weeks. And also I'm gonna put down some pre-emergent. It's the first of September, so it's time to get that pre-emergent down. Temperature's dropping below the 60s in the low 60s at the end of this week. So guys, you better get ready. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today I'm gonna to put down some insecticide. And this is basically my second treatment for army worms. Here's my good old duo side. I'm gonna put down and also some ortho lawn insect killer. I think I used Bug Be Gone last time. I like this better because it's more granular. The other was more of a powder type stuff. But, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna spray this triazicide by spectricide on it. And this is what took care of the army worms last week when I was down. Just a quick spray of that, it cleared them up. And then after I do this, put down insecticide, I'm gonna come back and do my pre-emergent. And I gotta do the same pre-emergent I did, I believe in the spring. So I'm gonna hold off on prodiamine this year and I may start it back in the spring of next year. But this is the Anderson's product. It's a, it's got dimension in it. <clears throat> or you may hear it called Dithiop here. It's a 007 and it, one bag, 50 pound bag, will cover right at 9,000 square feet at the medium rate. It is right here, 50 pounds covers 9,000 square feet at the 240 pounds products per acre, which is the medium rate. And that is put down at, in our terms, 5.5 pounds per 1,000 square feet. So I'll put this down. Actually, I'm putting down one, two, three bags, because I'm gonna cover roughly 27,000 square feet and then I have an extra bag over there. That's for helping out a friend. So got me an extra bag. And this bag, I bought it at the Ewing's Irrigation, my local Ewing's Irrigation Center. It came in at roughly, I believe it was $17.99 per bag. And then this same place, it comes in at, it was $40 for a 40 pound bag. And then of course this was purchased at Home Depot. So let's get this all loaded up and we'll start spreading. Well, it looks like I grabbed the long bag as well. I was hoping to get the granular type. This is that 
almost flaky powder type. I would pick it up and show it to you, but I don't have my gloves on, so I'm just dumping it and throwing it. So, but yeah, it's that same powdery type substance. But we'll throw it down. It's supposed to cover 20,000 square feet and provide, you know, three months control and kill, as the bag says, over 100 insects. So, I'm just put it, put it down. I've already done the front and back with the duo side. <laughs> Okay guys, I put down duo side, 40 pound bag of duo side across the front and back yards, you know, where I typically will mow. And then I went around the rest of the yard with the ortho lawn insect killer. And it kills scrubs. It's a 20 pound bag, but it covers 20,000 square feet. And the active ingredient in both of these is bifenthrin. You see here, so you see that bifenthrin. This product has 0.115%. And then this one has 0.058%, but it also has 2.3% of carbaryl uh, active ingredients. So we got this down. So now we're gonna go ahead and stack the pre-emergent on top of it. And we're expecting a little rain the next couple of days, 40 or 50%, maybe a little rain like it did today. So we'll put this down. So we'll have for, we'll have our final coat of insecticide on the turf. And then we'll also have pre-emergent down, get it down before the rain in, then hopefully it'll rain within the next couple of days and really soak it in and saturate, get it down into the soil in the thatch layer and below. So that way we won't have weeds this coming winter. And also when I get done with the this, then I'll probably come back, well, I will come back with the uh, Spectricide here is a different active ingredient. It's a gamma cyhalthrin. Not very good at pronouncing these, but we'll do that. We'll spray that out. That's just a simple hose in sprayer. We'll spray it on the front in the backyard. But for now, we're gonna put this out three, three and a half bags probably across 27,000 square feet. This is kind of looks like ground up concrete. As you can see, it's very pretty large. Trail size, it's not consistent. It's uh, some small pieces and also some really large pieces. And I'm not going to touch it. It's too hot to put my gloves on, so I'm just dumping and throwing. Okay guys, for it, it's getting really late, so before I spray the triads the side over there, hooked up to my water hose, I'm going to blow off the walkway and also the driveway over here. That way if I get any of the liquid on the driveway or walkway, it won't activate the duo side and get it all over the driveway. So I'm just gonna clear it off and also clear off the pre-emergent. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my trash aside here and get the spray in, spray the front yard and also the backyard.
Okay guys, it is getting way too dark. I'll, I'll finish spraying this off camera. I just want to tell you guys that the instructions on the, the uh, spray did say to make sure your yard is thoroughly watered two to three hours before spraying it for army worms. So we got right at an inch of rain this afternoon, or around midday, around noon. So, and it's close to six now. So the yard is thoroughly wet. And <clears throat> so I came out here and sprayed it good. So it, the, it should activate the duo side as well. Cause as soon as water hits the duo side, it dissolves and, and soaks down to the ground. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and learned a little something that you can uh, put insecticide down at the same down, it's a time as a uh, pre-emergent and also fertilizer if you're fertilizing. But what I did, I put down the insecticide and also the pre-emergent. So I am good to go for at least what, three months for my pre-emergent. I put down the dimension. So bring on fall and winter. But we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that little like button and hit that subscribe button over here on the little corner. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I am glad to be back in the yard. And I'll see you again soon. Hope you guys have a great day. We certainly put down a lot of product today. Let's see, we did three bags of Dimension 007 by the Andersons, pre-emergent. We did a 40 pound bag of Duo Side and a 20 pound bag of the Ortholon Insect Killer. All right, guys. Yes, you can put down multiple products at once. We got insecticide and pre-emergent down. Probably the most important step is taking care of your equipment. Because without your equipment, you will not be able to put down your product efficiently. So make sure you take the time, even if it's nighttime, to clean your equipment.